welcome to another unboxing. We have one Dungeons & Dragons box by Kid Robot to open. Although not a new series, these are still out and available. For New Zealand viewers, you'll find a link in the description to purchase. And hey, avoid an uncomfortable campaign with your party and give this video a like. Then consider subscribing to the channel, lest you meet the Mind Flayer and roll a 1. There are 13 in this series to collect, and with ever so slightly friendlier ratios than Kid Robot of old, there are 2 3 and 24s, 8 2 and 24s, 1 1 and 24, and 2 1 and 48s. On to only box. It's a Saug one. So a bulk standard 2 and 24. Some might be looking at these and waiting for the punchline, but no, they are Kid Robot. On first impressions we had reservations. The box art looks kind of terrible, the figures don't conform to the dunny shape, and as a set seem mismatched in appearance. But after some reflection and consideration, some of these things are easily explained. With the box art, the series is called First Edition, and the original edition of Dungeons & Dragons was released way back in 1974. So considering the fantasy art of the time, it is kind of fitting. The dunny shape, well, Kid Robot didn't start out with dunnies. They had several series before the dunny and money forms took over, so those shapes they just became synonymous with. As for the cohesion, we could put this down to the era the characters were originally created, although that is quite weak. Or we could suggest multiple artists and designers were involved in this series. But some characters do look more true, if we can use that word for fictional characters, to form. Whereas others do have a somewhat kawaii wink, as the Mind Flayer, Beholder and Mimic are almost cute in appearance. For D&D fans, these are probably of interest. For the price, they're probably on the high side. But if you are looking to pursue them, Series 2 is newly out in the US. So you'd better hurry. But for now, that's all we have time for. I don't think anyone is suggesting that your intentions originally in this game were anything but, but good. It's a game to have some fun. Mm -hmm. But in the light of what some people would consider to be strong evidence, don't you really think that you have to rethink your position about the game and at least make known the potential for abuse of the game? Well, I, I, I again have to go back and say there's no link that, that this is, except perhaps in the, in the minds of those people who are looking desperately for any other cause than perhaps their own failure as a parent. Mm -hmm.